what? It's the black suit. Welcome back to Strong Arm Flicks. I'm your boy T Flame, and it has been a while, my friends, and I am so sorry that it's been so long since my last upload. Um, me and my son got hit pretty hard with the flu, and it was it was a nasty, strong viral flu strain, and it was something different this year, something out of this world. And uh, also with all the holidays, with Thanksgiving and Christmas and Xmas shopping and everything. It's just been hectic. But anyway, so, um, yeah, so something that um, I seen not that long ago, and uh, I know I'm a little late on this, but uh, Zack Snyder posted uh, his first picture of Superman wearing the black suit. And I got to say, this is fucking wonderful. This is a beautiful picture. I don't give a fuck if it's photoshopped or not. Um, I've known since early i want to say 2018 that the black suit in some form uh was going to be in the justice league movie um not that bullshit they put in theaters obviously it was an, always intended to show up he was always intended to wear the black suit they didn't never dive into you know did they design him an actual suit or were they going to add the vfx post um in in post now um Either way, uh, I see a lot of people on Twitter and uh, other social media debating um, in the comments and in the comment sections about uh, you know him them adding the VFX in. And Zack Snyder shot the he, the thing is people need to understand is Zack Snyder when he shot the scenes the studio studio was already meddling. Um, the Snyder cut the 214 is already slightly a, a studio tampered movie um it's 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 still mainly his but the original script that, that Zack Snyder and Chris Terrio wrote they they never shot now remember during the Zack Snyder director's cut event that passed quite some time ago um he was asked a question about that and in the panel he said that me and Chris never shot the actual original script that real scary idea uh, they were at a subconscious time and they were insecure after the release of BVS and the studio said you can't shoot this That's crazy. That's also why early on the OG Steppenwolf Design was was scrapped and changed to what it looks like in the theatrical cut now Zach and Chris did rewrite that first initial script but uh, how much he changed from his initial vision uh, I don't know. We don't know. This is Zack Snyder, the motherfucking man Zack Snyder we're talking about here. So anything's possible. But even during Zack filming during production, the studio was on some bullshit. And Zack knew it. And that's why he took precautions. And he added silver plates underneath Superman's suit so that it could be digitally edited in post to make it the black suit. Because the studio didn't want the black suit. The studio wanted, they wanted the cornball blue and red i smile i'm truth and justice uh, i wear my red tight as high as i can had ass superman and that's why they that we added that ridiculous ass scene into that movie which was felt so forced and so fucking cringy so zach had to take precautions because the amount of meddling that they were going to do he knew that his cut was going to be different maybe he didn't know at the time how different it was going to be unfortunately but anyway they did have a scene where they showed the black suit in the movie and a deleted scene and i don't know if that was just a prop made to look like a suit if that was an actual suit it, it could have been what, what does zach say he said uh this is my superman or my superman <laughs> and uh down in the comment section below underneath this post that uh zach dropped on viral zach said uh let's put it this way in zach snyder's justice league he will have a black suit and just further confirming he was meant to have this black suit in the entire movie again this is an entirely different fucking movie guys an entirely different fucking movie and I can't wait to see this shit they were talking so early on about this shit but everybody had their head head so far up their ass like almost two years ago a year and a half ago they were talking i can't remember there was people there was a couple of dudes that, that were on youtube 
that fucking were comparing the theatrical footage with the actual footage released and they were helping the cause early on and they were they were showing how much shit was removed from the trailers them changing shit like uh super uh wonder woman smirking uh certain things that didn't make sense with wonder woman uh superman uh uh, more violent, having more violent uh, action sequences, and them altering that um, in the final cut, and all kinds of shit. And the way that they did it, they showed just how much the movie had been tampered with. But what they had also did was they had talked to a couple of people on the inside, and they said then that in the Snyder Cut that Superman wears the black suit. And they said this shit early, early on. And nobody believed it. You know, everybody was like, oh, well, that would be just thought to themselves, well, that would be cool. And and, and come to find out, these guys were fucking right. And I wish I could remember these guys because I talk about these two dudes that did this shit on YouTube. And I watched the hell out of them back then. And it just, man, it breaks my heart that I can't remember their name. And I, I feel like such a disrespectful prick because I can't even give them a shout out. But these guys, man, they were on top of their shit back then when the whole fucking world was looking at people like, you're crazy. What? A Snyder Cut? What the fuck? You guys are a fucking theorist. You know what I'm saying? And there wasn't a, even a lot of people hashtagging the Snyder Cut like that. There wasn't no organized movements and shit like that yet. None of that shit. And I also did want to mention, too, that Henry Cavill, back before Justice League dropped, uh, teased the black suit in Justice League when he posted a picture on his Instagram of the black suit zoomed in really close on the S. So Henry Cavill knows way more than he's saying, and he's playing the co he's playing the company line right now. But anyway, this is pretty neat, and um, you know uh, this other guy <laughs> commented on Vero as well, and he said uh, he said something about like you know what are you gonna drop next? Holy shit! Green Lantern? Are you going to drop a picture of Green Lantern? Dro drop a leak of Green Lantern or something like that? And Zach commented it below and he put, don't tempt me. <laughs> Way to go, Zach, as usual. But anyway, that's the video, guys. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And if you would be so kind as to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell, um, I would appreciate it. And if you like what you hear, like what you see, don't be afraid to give me a shout out in a video or whatever else you might uh, have in mind. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Till next time.